Well, I'm in the process of making some more goat shelters out of IBC totes. This is the basic idea I came up with. Um, I guess I'm a little close. Let me go around the table here and give you a better shot. Got my tools up here. But I basically cut out a, an entrance so they can get into that utilizes as much of the materials of the IBC tote as possible. And you'll notice that um, I haven't cut it. It's still continuous here. What I did was I just marked and cut out a slot just to um, scored it so that it's easier to bend. And then after I put it back in, this piece comes through here and, and sets on this bar. And then I took some half inch EMT and uh, cut some tabs on it, cut some tabs out of it, I should say, and uh, cut a long tab around it so it's a continuous piece. And then continue with the uh, half inch EMT and then put a tab on the bottom where it's screwed in. And the interesting thing about this is that in order for the um, valve to be on the back side so it can drain in case there's any water or they go to the bathroom in here, um, I had to take the, cha the cage and switch it around because the cage actually, uh, the larger opening, used to be here to uh, facilitate access to the, to the valve. As you can see that the, the uh, cage has been turned around. And now the valve's in the back, and we'll just leave that open. And so, basically what we do after I set it up... I, oh, by, by the way, the overhang, that the excess that I cut that from the bottom here, um, I split it in half at a diagonal, and I use it to make sides. So it's all the materials except for the bar here, and, and this exception, too, is a three-quarter inch... Um, EMT that I use for the front as a stiffener and as a as a way to lift it and it's pretty solid I've got bucks in these and uh, They jump on them. They don't jump on top of them. They jump up here on the on this uh, entryway this covered entryway and They don't damage it. It's it's pretty stout uh, Bulletproof is the word I like to use And of course what we do is I have these um, eye bolts here and we put cattle panels around it so that they have a little area if we need to isolate and pen them up. And the uh, this is actually a modification of one that I did before because previously I, I cut I didn't cut this bar and so it was kind of high. But for the sake of getting little kids up in there, we had to cut it on the bottom. And the other problem too is when it's this high, uh, things collect and it's hard to clean out. Where this right here, you can get a hole in there and just pull it out and put fresh hay up in there or straw but ultimately they end up chewing on it and eat it but it worked out real good so anyways i'll uh show the old design in another video and um one of where the uh the bucks are in in theirs and and how they've adapted to the older design i'm gonna have to cut the uh, bottoms out to give it uh, make it an easier entrance for, for them to get in and out of but um, this is the improved design and it's uh, it's worked out great so we're very happy with it